Baruchah, how that you wish you well, Hashem bless you. Today I would like to tell you a beautiful story that it's hard to believe, but uh, you know, witchcraft. Yesterday I told you a story, and today I tell you another story. When I was in Morocco, I was uh, about 25 years ago. No, more. More than 30 years, yes, more, more, more. Even, uh, yes, even 35 years ago, yes. If it was before I got married. I will never forget. I was with my brother, Abraham. And Abraham, he was injured in a crash, a car accident. He had, three of his friends passed away, and he was in a big coma. And Baruch Hashem, thanks God, Hashem sent him Rifua Shilema. And he went to Morocco to say thank you on the griefs of Tzadikim. Because at that time my father was alive, and my father was in Morocco, and he did pray for him, and he said that he will not go back to Israel till Abraham get well. And Baruch Hashem, he got well. My friend, so he went to Morocco, and he had to make his passport. That took him a long time to, to renew his passport, more than a year. And one day, I was with him there, and uh, we went to, we were working, and suddenly there was a, we stopped in a, somewhere, and there, there was a Moroccan man, he came, and he looked at that, my brother, he told him, he started to tell him futures. He started to tell him that you've been in a crash accident, your friends pass away, and he started to tell him exactly a few things. It was shocking. So my brother told him, please come to the car and tell me more. So at the, at the beginning, I didn't want to let my brother having this uh, conversation with the, this man because uh, it's, uh, it's witchcraft. It's, uh, we're not allowed to do that. But he was uh, very, very, very excited. So he went inside the car. I went inside the car. And then that, that man, he told him, I can tell you more, but you have to give me this amount. So my brother said, I give you. I was not happy. But he was, uh, was my, my small brother. And after all what it ha he has, so I just... Uh, so that man told him, look, I'm going to give you this paper, white paper. Touch it. You just turn it like that. And then put it in your mouth. And you will see, you will feel the paper a little bit bigger. That means there is something inside. And what is what's inside is a piece of the clothes full of blood that you had in your accident. I was afraid. And my brother was uh, so excited. And he took the money, he gave it to him. Here's the money. I was not happy. This is Abu Dazara. We're not allowed to do that. I told the man, please give me, I want to open the paper. He said, okay, you can open it. So I started to open the paper. And I opened the paper. And I opened the paper. And then I saw inside something very, very dark. What I did, I opened my legs and I threw uh, what was inside the paper between my legs and I closed my legs. And then I went to the man and said, the paper is empty. He went mad. He took the money, he threw the money. He said, you must be the son of a rabbi. And he wanted to get out. So I went out, I opened the door, and let him run. My friend, when I looked at my foot between my legs, there was nothing. And I saw there was something. 
My friend, when you believe in Hashem, there is nothing can happen to you. When you believe in Hashem, so your Imun HaKadosh Baruch it's enough. Nothing harm can happen to you. Moshe Rabbeinu, he fighted all those people who, who did witchcraft. And always he beat them. Witchcraft is only for people weak. People that they don't, they, are not, they have no connection with Hashem. But if you have connection with Hashem, you don't worry from them. Hashem bless you. Now we show the best. Thank you.